The beginning event that kicks off the seventh period is the Spanish-American War. The United States wanted to obtain Cuba from Spain, so they sent the USS Maine to Cuba. The USS Maine exploded in Havana Harbor, killing about 260 people on board. The U.S. used this as an excuse to blame Spain for the explosion of the U.S. ship in order to start a war that made the U.S. look good. Many Americans signed up voluntarily to fight in the war. The U.S. won the war and faced 400 casualties during fighting and 4,000 casualties due to yellow fever, typhoid, and malaria. The war ended when the Treaty of Paris was signed on December 10, 1898. Because of this, the U.S. became proud owners of Puerto Rico, Guam, the Philippines, and the Guantanamo Bay Naval Base. The Wright brothers always worked on different mechanical projects and kept up with scientific research. They followed the German aviator Otto Lilienthal. When Lilienthal died in a glider crash, the brothers decided to create the first fully self-reliant airplane. These two inventors were trying to figure out how to design wings for their aeroplane. So they went and observed birds. They discovered that birds angled their wings for balance and control. These two inventors wanted to emulate this, so they invented wing warping and they added a movable rudder to their airplane. With all this created, they had made a new fully functional aeroplane and went on to sell it to the world. This new aeroplane led to the creation of military aircraft adding to the arsenal of weapons that nations had. When World War I erupted in 1914, President Woodrow Wilson pledged neutrality for the U.S., this was in favor for the masses of Americans that believed that neutrality was best. This all changed, though, when Germany tried to quarantine the British Isles. Many U.S. ships were sunk on their way to Britain by German mines. This, along with future unprovoked sinking of ships, led the U.S. to declare war on Germany. The first 14,000 U.S. infantry troops landed in France to begin training for combat. After four years of stalemate along the Western Front, American reinforcements arrived and turned the tides of battle. When the war ended on November 11, 1918, more than 2 million American soldiers had fought and 50,000 had died. When America was born, women were denied basic rights that were enjoyed by male citizens. In 1869, Stanton and Anthony formed the National Women's Suffrage Association, with their goal being an amendment allowing women to vote. Also in 1869, Lucy Stone and Henry Blackwell founded the American Women's Suffrage Association, which supported the 15th Amendment. The NWSA and the AWSA merged to form the National American Women's Suffrage Association, with their main goal being every state constitution adopting women's suffrage amendments. In six years, they had made Colorado, Utah, and Idaho adopt suffrage amendments granting women the right to vote. In 1919, the U.S. Senate passed the 19th Amendment and sent it to the states. Southern states opposed the amendment, but in 1920, the amendment was ratified. The first Red Scare was a period during the early 20th century of the United States marked by a widespread fear of Bolshevism and anarchism. When labor strikes were on the rise during 1917 to 1918, the press sensationalized them as being caused by immigrants bent on bringing down the American way of life. The Sedation Act of 1918 was enacted and targeted people who criticized the government with the threat of deportation. The fear turned into violence with the 1919 anarchist bombings, a series of bombs targeting law enforcement and governing officials. The stock market crash of 1929 was considered the worst economic event in world history. It began on Thursday, October 24, 1929, with scared investors trading a record of 12.9 million stocks. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged nearly 13% on October 28th and fell another 12% on October 29th. Public panic in the days after the stock market crash led to hordes of people rushing to banks to withdraw their funds and investors were unable to withdraw their money because bank officials had already invested the money in the market. These problems with the banks led to massive bank failures and further deepened an already dire financial situation. 
While historians debate whether the stock market crash of 1929 directly caused the Great Depression, there's no doubt that it greatly affected the American economy for many years. Germany started World War II by invading Poland on September 1, 1931. Britain and France promptly declared war on Germany on September 3rd. Within a month, Poland was defeated by a combination of German and Soviet forces. Germany began its assault on Western Europe by invading the Low Countries. On May 10, 1940, France signed an armistice with Germany allowing German occupation of the northern half of the country. During this year, the Soviet Union annexed the Baltic states in June 1940. Italy joined the war on June 10, 1940. The Nazis lost an air war battle over England, known as the Battle of Britain. During the summer of 1941, German troops advanced deep into the Soviet Union, but stiffening Red Army resistance prevented the Germans from obtaining Leningrad and Moscow. On December 6, 1941, Soviet troops launched a counteroffensive that drove German forces permanently from the outskirts of Moscow. One day later, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, forcing the U.S. to join the war. On December 11th, Germany and Italy declared war on the U.S. as military conflict widened. In May 1942, the British Royal Air Force carried out a raid on the German city of Cologne with a thousand bombers, for the first time bringing war to the German home front. For the next three years, Allied air forces bombed industrial plants and cities all over the reach reducing urban Germany to rubble by 1945. On September 8, 1943, the Italian military took over and negotiated a surrender to Anglo-American forces. German troops stationed in Italy seized control of the northern half of the peninsula and continued to resist. German troops held northern Italy until surrendering on May 2, 1945. On June 6, 1944, D-Day, as part of a massive military operation, over 150,000 Allied soldiers landed in France, which was liberated by the end of August. On September 11, 1944, the first U.S. troops crossed into Germany, one month after Soviet troops have crossed the eastern border. Allied air forces attacked Nazi industrial plants, such as the one at the Auschwitz camp. On April 40, 1945, Hitler committed suicide. Germany surrendered unconditionally on May 7, 1945 to the Western Allies at Reims, and on May 9th to the Soviets in Berlin. In August, the war in the Pacific ended soon after the U.S. dropped atomic bombs on Japan. World War II resulted in an estimated 55 million deaths, making it the most destructive conflict in history. The attack on Pearl Harbor by Japanese forces happened on December 7, 1941, just before 8 a.m. on that Sunday morning. Hundreds of Japanese fighter planes descended on the base, where they killed more than 2,400 Americans, including civilians, with another 1,000 wounded. The day after the attack, President Franklin D. Roosevelt asked Congress to declare war on Japan. The Battle of Normandy began on June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day, when some 156,000 American, British, and Canadian forces landed on five beaches along a 50-mile stretch of heavily fortified coast of France's Normandy region. This invasion was one of the largest amphibious military assaults in history and required extensive planning. By late August 1944, all northern France had been liberated, and by the following spring, the Allies had defeated the Germans. D-Day signaled the start of the end of World War II. On August 6, 1945, the United States became the first and only nation in history to use atomic weaponry during wartime, when it dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Approximately 80,000 people are killed as a direct result of the blast, and another 35,000 are injured. At, at least another 60,000 would be killed by the fallout. Many historians argue that although this event marked the end of World War II, it may have also ignited the Cold War. The U.S. had their first working atomic bomb in July 1945.